joining me tonight. Uh, before we jump into these questions, I got, I just always want you to kind of reintroduce yourself there for everybody that's going to watch this later when it's posted. So go ahead and give me a little introduction, and then we'll start. Hi, my name is Ava Ball. I am from San Diego, and I am a catcher signed to play at Stan softball at Stanford next year. Gotcha. Thank you. So, yeah, um, just talk to me about, I know you're in uh, your high school season right now, so kind of talk to me about just how that's going. So basically that's my first thing I got for you, just how your season's going, how you're doing, and everything. Seasons are going so good. We are – 11 and one right now, I believe. And I think we're ranked second in San Diego, nah. which is so awesome because this is our first year in program history in division one. And I just, I feel like really shocking everyone. And it's so good to see all of us coming together. And personally, it's going great. I'm tied for first in home runs in San Diego. Um, I'm batting just under 500 right now. And it's just, it's been going so so good. I think, honestly, the best it could be for a senior year. So I'm having a great time. Yeah, I mean, that. I mean, obviously, that sounds like it's going pretty good there. Um, and like you said, especially for, you know, your, it's a good start to um, your, your last year, you know, there in high school, just to take that all in, you know. Um, so, and basically, now I want to talk to you about, you know, obviously, you know, see, you know, season can be a grind, you know, you got school ball, you know, travel stuff, and also, you know, you're, recruiting stuff with Stanford and, and obviously uh, being a student athlete also. So through all of this, just what keeps you motivated daily to, to keep going and doing this stuff? I just, I have to remember that my work is not done. Yes, I'm signed and I have a big future ahead of me. Yes, it is my senior year, but I have a lot ahead of me. And I have mm. to know that, um, you know, this is really where it matters the most because I have to prepare mentally and physically and I want to be the best version of myself on the field uh, that I can going into the fresh my freshman year for college because obviously the goal is you want to play. You want to get as much playing time in as you can. And I know that I'm going to have to outwork girls that are ahead of me. And also, I just I want to succeed. I want to be yeah. the best player that I can. And knowing to never settle and to just keep on getting better and better and better. I say that's my biggest motivation because um, succeeding is fun. <laughs> you know, it's fun <laughs> to do good. Yes, uh, that is true. And I, and I love that. And I, and I love the word fun too, because I think we forget just to have fun, you know, doing it. And obviously when you are succeeding, it is, it is fun. Um, but like you said, it's, I think a lot of people, and I have, I've had some people admit this to me, you know, that, they've kind of struggled when they have committed um, and got that done with, and they kind of just kind of settled in more. And it's like, well, now you have that, like, like for you, I mean, uh, you know, Stanford is a big name, you know, you have that name attached to you now everywhere you go, you know? So it's like when you're yeah. playing your high school season, everybody knows like, Hey, there's Ava, you know, she's signed with Stanford, you know, it's like, so that, you know, you got, you're also representing that name, even though you're not there yet, you're still doing that. So like you said, you're just, your work is not done yet. Um, and now talking about your start to the season, you were talking about a minute ago, you know, the hot start. Um, it's amazing to get out like that. What's you, like your mindset, you and your team kind of getting locked in like that so early? It's just we go out there and we play every game with passion. We know that we're kind of an underdog and that we actually can do this because every single year how it works is we do great in the regular season and then we get to CIF and we just kind of fall off. And we're like, we don't want that. We want to put a banner in the gym. We have to give every practice, every pitch, every game our 100%. And we just have to know that, you know, we're really playing for our school, yeah. not just ourselves. We want to put um, El Capitan's name out there. Gotcha. And yeah, and that's, you know, I mean, obviously that's motivation to be able to do something like that. And I've talked with people before that's like, you know, their school has never done this or been here or doing this. And it's just like that pride thing you want to do, because obviously, you know, like you said, you do have a future, you know, at, at Stanford and everything, but you're never going to get another one of these, you know, like never going to have another senior year at high school. So, um, so now I want to ask you, you know, obviously this year into your senior year and then just all of your softball stuff in general, you know, whether it's your recruiting recruitment, um, you know, everything you've been doing in softball, what is one thing, you like a really important thing that you've learned so far just playing softball um 
control your controllables. That's something that my coach told me once, and that would be your attitude and your effort. And I feel like that goes with softball and things with life because sometimes things just won't go your way. You can try your best, and it just is not going to go your way, yeah. especially softball. You can't control how the umpire is doing. You can't control that that other pitcher just owns you. You can't control that, um, you know, your – shortstop or just someone else on the team she's just not having a good day you can't control that your pitcher's just not on it that day but you can always control how much effort you're putting into it and how good your attitude is and I just that's something that I really carry with me with every aspects of life and it just really keeps me going like just you know kind of go with the flow a little bit like I'm gonna try my best and then whatever happens happens yeah and I think um and I think that's really big because sometimes like you said it's there, you know, like even right now, it, it's kind of weird when you uh, how much it flops because, like, obviously, you never want stuff to happen and something, you know, uh, you know, just bad to happen or like a slump or this or that. But like you said, it does happen. You know, you like there is failure. Like even with right now, you're, you guys are starting hot in a season so long. Obviously, I hope that you guys stay continued hot. You know, and I'm sure you do. But you never know. You know, a season is so up and down, and it's just that way. But like you said, you, sometimes you know you may not have your best stuff. You may not do that, but like you say, you can control the attitude and effort. Um, and like, and, you know, speaking of like, uh, you know, the umps or whatever, like I was watching, you know, the women's final four and everything. And there, everybody's complaining about the officials like they do all the time. You know, girls are getting in foul trouble and, and it's like, well, yeah, that sucks. And, you know, they may not be on the top of their game officiating, but that's not going to also, that's not just going to continue that or control the outcome of the game all the way, you know, so you got to control things. Um, so now, I want to kind of take a break. We're going to kind of do some rapid fire questions here. I've been doing some of these just to kind of have a little fun here. Um, so just first thing that comes to your mind here when I ask these questions. So uh, favorite musical artist? Uh, Sunroom, but I can honestly vibe with anything. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, favorite pump up song? Um, Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Actually, uh, I was talking to somebody there. I, where was that at? I think it was a guy I was asking a question about, and he said that song. Uh, favorite food? Barbecue. I love barbecue. No, wait. Okay, so I'm from the South, so I obviously know barbecue. Do y'all have good barbecue up there? Yeah, I would say, okay. So my every time that we've gone to, like, the South or, like, other parts outside of California for barbecue or for, like, softball, I love their barbecue. And, like, we do have really good places here. Like, there's one in – the town I live in called Grand Ole Barbecue. And um, that place super respectable. There's probably Phil's Barbecue, which is like big down here. So I would say that we do have good barbecue, but my favorite is when we go like other places. I remember we did a, a tournament in Texas. And oh, yeah. oh good ever. Speaking of that, uh, uh, Austin, I've been in Austin before and I forgot, I forgot the name of it, but it is incredible. And there, which you wouldn't believe me. Nobody believes me when I say this. I went to a place. I was uh, flying into Houston airport. And in an airport, they have in Texas, Houston, there is one of the best barbecue places I, I, I ever had. And it's in an airport. So it's like, that's just the South, you know. So it's like here, like literally about 10 mile radius of where I live, there is six barbecue places. So it's that's just, you know, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. So obviously this does include Stanford. Uh, but favorite sports team? San Diego Padres, all the way. I, I, I kind of figured that. I kind of figured that. Um, all right. If you can go to any place, travel anywhere you wanted to right now, where would that first place go that you would you would be there? New Zealand. I've wanted to go to New Zealand since I was little. Awesome, awesome. All right. So there, that was a little fun there. Uh, so, yeah, talk to me about just kind of what's, your, uh, what's ahead for you guys. I know you're in season. You're rolling along. Um, I don't know if the weather has been crappy there. I've been I've been talking to you about our crappy weather here. We were I went to a game the other day uh, to watch somebody that uh, I've interviewed, and I had to wait like it was a three hour delay literally because they had to get the field, and it's been crazy. Uh, so I know you guys probably I don't know if y'all have had trouble with that, but just talk to me just about what you're excited for, what you're looking forward to coming up here in the season you're in. Yeah. So right now we're in league and like conference play and we played our first uh conference game on friday and we had won and it was an amazing game and um it so we're excited for that because that's when we're playing schools that are close by yeah you have like 
your rivals, the ones that you really, really want to be. And then we're also going to be playing a lot of a, a tougher schedule, a lot more Division One teams going into that and just kind of finishing out the really important part of our season to get ready for CIF because CIF is going to start in about May okay. or so. So now this is really where we have to dial in. We have to get going and uh, you got to have clean games, good hitting, good pitching. And our weather has been terrible. Yes. I, uh, it's been, it's, I think it's been everywhere. Yeah, it's been raining so much. We've had about seven games get canceled and rescheduled. Oh, yeah, I'm right now, and next week we have five games that are all makeup games. Yeah, just from so that kind of threw a wrench in our season because instead of playing two to three games a week, we're playing about four to five a week. Yeah, which. Like there towards the end of the season is going to be a little tough because we only have two pitchers on our roster, so it'll be a little bit interesting. But I'm very, very hopeful for how we're going to do. I think that we have a lot of potential, and I am just so excited to see what our team can do. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, before I also let you, I know last time we we had talked and you talked about how involved you are with stuff. Um, you know, school and everything else. So kind of talk to me about that too. Cause I also like to talk to you about just, you know, you're not just a softball player, you're doing other things. Uh, so talk to me about that and how everything's going, that what you're involved in and you can kind of tell me everything again like that. Yeah. So right now I'm a part of the uh, med tech pathway at our school, which really just um, a lot of medical stuff. So we actually just hosted a blood drive on Friday and it was a big hit. That was really cool. And then I'm doing ASB because I'm the ASB vice president. And we're doing a lot of end of the year activities. So right now we're actually planning a senior versus staff basketball game, which is going to oh, be really nice. fun. It's just like a cool thing for all of us. There's like no experience needed. Like you don't even have to be athletic. Just <laughs> go out there. And then I'm planning a um, school-wide dodgeball tournament. So, like, staff can play, students can play, and you have teams of six to eight, and you have, like, costumes and a team name. And it's just – it's so much fun because it was really big before COVID. Then COVID hit, and it just kind of, like, wrecked everything. Yeah. But we're trying to get going again. So, it's really busy because we're planning all of our end-of-the-year activities. But we're also planning Powder Puff right now, which – flag football. So, I'm <laughs> super excited because I love football. So. Yeah, and I, I mean, honestly, well, speaking of dodgeball, I think was my favorite thing. I'm going to sound like the old person here, my goodness. But dodgeball was literally my favorite thing to do, like, in high school. So it was, like, awesome to do. So definitely enjoy that. And also, I want to, speaking of, do y'all have, I know down here they just started it in a few states. Do y'all have flag football, like, as a sport? So it's currently in the process of getting passed with CIF. Um, I Maybe in next year it will be an official yeah. sport. But I believe the Chargers are actually putting in a lot of, like, funding. And um, they're really trying to push to make flag football a real sport. Yeah. So not yet. But within the next couple years, it will be a real sport. So, like, the current freshmen, hopefully by the time they're seniors, they'll actually get to play flag football as a sport. Yeah. And, I, I mean, they just did it here because I know they did it in Georgia first and then in Alabama – uh, and I've talked to a couple people. We talked to a basketball player who's that's her that's her main sport and, and getting looks and offers from there. But she played and they won the state championship in that. And they played in the like the Auburn University like a, a football field, you know. Um, and like it, it's just so cool to like to have that. I mean, some people think like, oh, I don't even want it, but I think it's so awesome to have, you know, because like I remember, you know, like people like doing the powder puff and stuff like that, and like people was like, we should do this, and now whatever years later they're kind of doing that. So. But yeah, well, thank you so much. I'm glad we finally got uh, on here and talked mm -hmm. again. I uh, appreciate your time. I always love talking with you. Um, good luck with everything coming up. Keep staying hot in the season, definitely. Um, and I, I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch again, and we'll, we'll get back on here again, and we'll see how you're doing later on. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, for wait, 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 wait. I forgot. Uh, we have. I was just talking to. Uh, is it Ella? Yes. Is that her name? The Stanford. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, I forgot her name. Oh my God. I hope she don't. She's gonna kill me for that. But she said, hey, by the way. So 
Oh, uh, okay. I actually um I went up and watched them play. What's today? Monday. Yesterday, against uh, UCLA. So. Yeah, she was talking to me that I know that was kind of it kind of ended a little rough for them there. Uh, but yeah, she said, "Hey, so definitely, definitely rooting for you guys um, when you get there um, and everything." So thank you again, and you have a good night. Okay, you too. Thank you so Bye. much.